Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are talking all about what the new Snow Park Village is going to look like, right? I've made several videos on this. I've talked all about kind of the articles, what's happening in town, locals that are unhappy, HOA is suing over it. But what I am officially really happy to report is that they actually finally have some plans for this. So I'd really like to dive into this because I think this is super important, especially if you are a property owner that owns property near the base of here, somebody who would like to buy property in Deer Valley, as well as, you know, somebody who is a regular skier of Deer Valley. I obviously think this is super important if you're a local. So this whole map area is of Lower Deer Valley, right? Uh, the, the Snow Park Village base area. So this is Snow Park Lodge. This is sort of the proposed um, traffic. They're going to insert more roundabouts, which is everybody's favorite. Every, no, I'm just kidding. Everyone literally hates roundabouts. And people think that, like, why? Like, let's solve more Park City traffic issues by inserting a roundabout, right? It's like a local's joke. Like, everyone's like, roundabouts don't help. But apparently they do help or they wouldn't be inserting them. So this is kind of like the new base village overview, which I think is really, really cool because now we've got pictures of what's happening. This is what I want to look at. Oh yeah, we want all the pics, folks. Yes, this is what we want to look at. Okay, so Deer Valley unveils revised plan for the snow park development, right? So that other uh, article that I was showing you that talks more about the traffic flow what I wanted to show you was more of like what the the intended like vision is for this area. So these are the obviously the two new roundabouts, right? They are going to put in a gondola here. There's going to be a new ski beach. Um, this is the carpenter lift that is still in place. They're going to have a transit hub below. Skier service is going to be over here. You've got ski school and day school, a day cafeteria. So they're re-envisioning the whole entire snow park lodge. This is all going to be, so ski services, boom, right here. The ski beach, the gondola, the plaza. There's going to be some sort of hotel here, retail and restaurants. I know there's actually a lot of local people that are against this, but there's also a lot of local people that are in favor of it. You know, especially some residents of Solomir are like, hey, this is awesome. We're going to have retail and restaurants. We won't have to go all the way into Old Town, which at the end of the day, Old Town is not that far away, but you even have more amenities closer to home, increasing the values of Deer Valley, increasing the value of your home. Guys, I know development is like a sore subject with a lot of people who have lived here for a long time, but I mean, thank the Lord Jesus that your condo is going to go up in value. Your home is going to go up in value. Your town home is going to go up in value. Like at the end of the day, if you bought real estate here, like life is looking good for you. Okay. So we've got some residential looks like planned right here. You've got a village bridge right here. So it looks like all of these kind of white tan colored uh, little shapes are going to be uh, residential. So there'll probably be some condos, multi-use stuff. And then it looks like there's going to be an event center. So Deer Valley is sharing changes and plans to develop the snow park parking lots. Valley's vision for the snow park base involves a new ski beach with a gondola to Silver Lake surrounded by hotels, restaurants, commercial space, and an event center. The resort still needs approval from Park City before construction can begin. At an open house on Tuesday, Deer Valley Vice President of Resort Planning, Hannah Tyler, said they want to break ground on the project by spring of 2025, so that's next year, folks. Tyler also shared the recent changes, including two new roundabouts to help with traffic flow. One is at the intersection of Doe Pass Road and Deer Valley Drive, Tyler said. The other is at the intersection of Royal Street. We tried not to do stop signs. We have roundabouts in town. People love it or they hate it, but it does keep people moving. And if you're coming from Royal Street, you'll be able to take a right and go right to the drop off, which means something, which is something we heard loud and clear from the upper Deer Valley neighbors. Deer Valley President and CEO Todd Bennett said the biggest change is moving the proposed transit center and drop-off area closer to the base. We heard from a lot of folks, and it's really important where the drop-off occurs today. We like the drop-off where it is, Bennett said, so we're going to drop off directly below the ski beach there, and we're going to separate it so that the transit that's coming in is on a different level than the car and auto drop-off, like kind of like the airport. Bennett said escalators would move skiers 
up to the Carpenter Lift and Silver Lake Gondola, which would also connect to Deer Valley's new eSpace Village. Again, guys, go check out some of my videos all about the new Deer Valley eSpace Village. There's going to be a lodge up at Parks Peak. This gondola is going to connect Snow Park to that new side. So if you're somebody who is living on that side or living in Heber or Midway or Hideout or Mayflower Lakeside or wants to buy in that new proposed area, I think it's really important to know that, hey, yeah, there's going to be a gondola. You won't have to really drive around. You could take that gondola up. Um, I think you could even do that in the summertime and avoid having to drive all the way around uh, by the hospital and then drive into town if you didn't want to, right? So let's take a look at some of these renderings because they are uh, great. I'd love to share these with you. So this is the new Transit Hub artist rendering. So we've got escalators. I mean, we're talking fancy schmancy folks. I mean, I don't know if Deer Valley can get any better, but it's about to get a whole lot better. Woo! This gets me excited just looking at it. And I'm a snowboarder, hence the snowboarder, uh, the snowboards hanging on my wall back there, but I do ski as well. So I decided next year I'm going to do a Deer Valley midweek pass so that I can um, get some more days on the skis too. And this is the transit hub selection. So we've got a lower parking level of P3, a middle parking level of P2, an upper parking level of P1. You're going to have residential parking here, plaza parking, day skier parking, this is the plaza level. Passenger drop-off is going to be P1. Transit drop-off is going to be all the way down to P2. And you're going to have the snow park lodge over here. We've also got the traffic flow. So they're going to have an upgraded Solomir intersection, upgraded Queen Esther um, intersection. If you don't know, those are uh, residential units right there. You've also got two-way traffic here. You've got an upgraded Y intersection, two-way traffic here. You've got a new Doe Pass road, road bus stop here, two-way traffic here, new Royal Street roundabout, trails and road, transit drop-off, snow park lodge, ski school, and daycare drop-off, and again, two-way traffic. So if you're worried about how it's going to affect you uh, if you're a local and how the traffic's going to go, just take a look at this map. Uh, this is kind of what I was showing you prior to this article. So it gives you a little overview. There's the gondola, passenger drop-off. And then, yeah, I mean, it looks quite incredible. This is the pedestrian experience. So they're really enhancing it with more walkability. If you know Lower Deer Valley is famous for those ponds right there in the summertime, you can go paddle boarding on that pebble beach right there, which is awesome. So I think it's only going to enhance sort of everybody living around there. And I think for a while, yes, it will be a nuisance because of all the construction and it takes a while for these things to get built. I don't know if it will be going in quite as fast as Deer Valley East Base Village simply because there's bond money in place at that, that village base. So I'm curious about the timeline on sort of the refresh of Snow Park Village here. Um, and then you've got emergency services. So this is kind of the route for emergency services. There will be a separate drop-off. There will be a separate drop-off near the base specifically for ski school and daycare. Tyler said the resort has also added more pedestrian crossings and connections to reduce traffic, reduce conflicts with cars. The new plan has similarities to a proposal, but forward last year by community activist group Protect the Loop, which suggested underground Deer Valley Drive below the base area. More than 250 people attended Tuesday's open house, which was separated into two sessions because of the high, high interest of what's happening here. Solomir resident Tom said Tuesday he's in full support of Deer Valley's plan. Every other place we've skied all over has, has had a base area for people to relax, enjoy shops, restaurants, being that I'm a local, it will be a great spot instead of going downtown. With the Snow Park Project and the resort expansion, Silver Lake resident Debbie Lambert said she is also excited about the future of Deer Valley. I've skied in Europe, and it kind of gives me the same feel where you don't just go to one base and come back to that same base. You can go to different places and plan a whole day around that, so I think that's really fun. In December, the Park City Council agreed to the resort's request to vacate the public right-way of portion of Deer Valley Drive, 
the city and Deer Valley reached a partnership agreement, which includes reducing day skier parking and the resort contributing $15 million for parking and a transit facility along State Route 248. Five Deer Valley HOAs have challenged the council's road vacation decision in third district court. So there are a bunch of HOAs suing over this. We'll see what happens. But Deer Valley plans to submit this project application to City Hall by April. So you guys, let me know what you think of this. I think that this is pretty cool how it's laid out. I think Deer Valley is only going to get bigger and better and greater. And it's one of the best places to ski in the world. It sucks if you're a snowboarder, so you got to learn how to ski, or you're just going to be hanging out at Park City Mountain most of the time. But if you're interested in buying or selling real estate around here, obviously, my name is Nicole Battle. I'm a local real estate agent. I've lived in Park City, the Park City area, for 38 years, born and raised here, preschool through high school, my dear friends. So please drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this proposed base area, and if anything, like, Property values are only going to rise. If you want to know more about what's happening with Deer Valley East, then please go check out this video next.